Button 1.0 is here, and with a full drop-in replacement for Node, we've got a much faster JavaScript environment that you can spin up in a REPL with just one click. Let's explore what that means. Well, Button's been around for a while, and we've played with and experimented with it to see just how much faster it is compared to other JavaScript runtimes like Node. It is extremely fast and extremely well built. In fact, it's an all-in-one solution containing lots of popular tools for running, building, testing, and debugging JavaScript and TypeScript from one single environment. Hitting 1.0 means it's fully stable, and Bun is a drop-in replacement for Node.js, so all your Node projects should work on it out of the box. Let's see what a difference it makes and whether you should switch to it from Node. Well, first of all, it's a very easy thing to spin up on Replit. Click Create, Search for bun, select the template, and click create. And straight away, that's spun up into a wonderful working program. You see it's serving up the file right there. Now, bun is significantly faster than node, so let's take a look at how we can manage that. Well, the first thing to do would be to write a very simple Hello World program. Now, what we're going to do is write a very simple program using Ghostwriter to create a looping Hello World program that does it about a thousand times and times it. So a very, very simple execution system. So we'll add that in, and then we'll add a bit more. And there we go. Ghostwriter is amazing. So let's stop this program and run it here. So you can see that it took 0.013 seconds. Let's take that code and do the same thing in Node. Just go for the basic node.js template. Remember, this is a drop-in replacement, so we should be able to use the same code and let's give it a go. And you'll see that that's almost double the amount of time it's taken. So, so Bun is running at 2x speed straight away out the box, just for something as simple as this. That's pretty impressive to start with. Now, one of the things about Bun is that a lot of the dependencies are integrated into the runtime. So we're getting better support because we don't need to manually import things like WebSockets, SQLite, and other things out of the box. Now, as a drop-in replacement to Node.js, let's try importing a GitHub project and see if we can get it working. So for this import, I've picked this package, Renetta. And what that is is a free, open, simple, markdown-powered knowledge base for Node.js. It uses Node and TypeScript to turn markdown files into HTML files that can be served up on a web page. So quite a simple use case, but this is quite a complex product. There's a lot of dependencies, a lot of files, as you can see, and it is actively maintained with some of the commits being as little as two weeks ago. So this is designed for Node. It should work perfectly in Node. Let's try that first. So I'm going to create import from GitHub. Now I know this is node.js, so we'll bring it in as node first so you can see what it does, and we'll import. And it's not working great, is it? It's freaking out a little bit, the versions. It's not running at the moment. We'll get it running eventually. In fact, there we go, it's running now, but that was a bit stressful. Let's try the same thing on Bun though and see how that works. Wow, that was, <laughs> that was scary quick, how quick that, that came up. Let's open a new tab and explore it. Okay, things seem to be working well. It seems to be super fast as well. Wow. I, I don't know about you, but I'm slightly blown away by how much easier that was to import from GitHub and how much faster it was to run it for the first time using Bun. Like, genuinely to a scary amount. And this is just a complex TypeScript node package that we looked at on GitHub. The point of version 1.0 of Bun was to match that node.js API. So we can literally drop in these projects and get them running seemingly with these speed boosts. This is absolutely genius. I'll certainly be migrating some of my Node.js stacks over to Bun in the next few days. Other benefits of Bun, it has its own built-in bundler, so you don't have to maintain or keep an eye on the latest and greatest JavaScript bundler. It supports TypeScript by default. We're not installing any packages to get that working. And unlike Node, it doesn't need to transpile to work with it making it much faster and more efficient as a result. It's also really forward thinking in that it doesn't have multiple file IO APIs. And if you're anything like me, you're constantly scratching your head with Node as to how does this file IO API work? How is it different to that one? Does this one support async? And it's a frustration. There is one file IO API within Bun and it supports async. It's designed for the modern web. I think absolutely crucially, that top level of the code is already async. So we're not dealing with the weirdness that comes from having two different styles of programming design running the environment. 
Okay, one other thing that it's meant to be really good at is networking requests. So let's do two examples here. So I've got two files here in my node file. So I've got a package called K6, which is a network benchmarking tool, which I'm going to run from within the REPL. What I'm going to do, I've got a very simple test.js file, which is, a, which is a simple responder that pauses one second between responding. And index.js is just going to reply with hello world when that runs. So let's test this out and get the stats. Let's do the same thing with our bun server. So I've got the same thing going on here. I've got my index.tx, which is a very simple ping server to reply with hello world. My test.js works in the same way as before. And you can see my server's already running. So let's pull k6 in there. Okay, let's maximize this as well. And you'll see the difference there. So you can see that the networking is working really quite well. And it's interesting to look at those two comparisons because if you've got particular needs with network requests, Bun does seem like it's going to be the better option going forward. So let's recap. Why should you try Bun for your next node project or why should you migrate one of your node projects to Bun? Well, it's the raw speed. It's so much quicker. There's no need for those multiple dependencies. Everything you want is included straight out of the box. It's only going to get better. One of the things that I like about it is it reduces that decision making so you can get started faster. And getting your template spun up on Replit means that you can go from an idea to building something to deploying it in a ridiculously short amount of time. Whatever you build with Bun, please let us know. We'd love to hear about your successes. To find out more about Bun, follow the links below to go to the official site and see everything it has to offer. And when you're done, go to Replit, click Create, and create yourself a Bun template and experiment with and possibly launch your next startup idea.